to try and cover, get the coverage to work a little bit better. Um, and then bringing that center one forward to hair just to get out of the field of, the, of those mics. But, I mean, there's not really a lot you can do other than that. Okay. I mean, unless you really want to get into an acoustical engineering situation and try to, try to do that. something there which maybe just has more options or something that yeah the the best uh, the best thing to do is try and switch this out I'm a fan of the Yamaha's uh, although they have a digital console that's out now but um, the Behringer seems to be a uh, one that is everybody's winning with oh. okay. and, and they have the reduced version so it has 32 channels in it mm -hmm. but it's reduced so it's actually this size and okay. uh, very easy to operate um, a step up from that would be the M32, the Midas version of that console. Okay. And I think you can pick them up for under two right now, oh. which is a great deal. Yeah. And um, it'll give you everything that you possibly could ever want to use, including effects and mm -hmm. you know plenty of uh, EQs that you can use. You can even use an EQ just specifically on those mics, you know, uh, a graphic. Okay. And it has the option of using the graphic and the P uh, parametric EQ. Six bands on each one of those channels. I mean, how can you beat that? Yeah. Right? For under 2,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what I would recommend because it's cheap and it's mm -hmm. powerful. It's got great freeze. The, Ma the Midas does. Mm -hmm. It has great freeze. It sounds really natural. It's got uh, every channel, it's got, you know, uh, a gate. And a, um, if you really wanted to get into it, you could buy yourself a card and put a a race card in there and then you can use plugins oh. and then really do a good job with a couple of plugins that I use in my stuff is mm -hmm. uh, is one that's called the uh, PSE which which actually is kind of like a gate mm -hmm. it's an expander okay. but what it does is it takes you you set it to a, a particular DB level mm -hmm. and so all the background noise uh, is gated out until there's actually somebody on the mic okay. which is cool for also for Feedback yeah. Yeah. Problems. But that's down the line. Yeah. yeah, we actually, years ago, <laughs> we built something like that. Um, my work for my brother, we were building uh, products for Infinity. They had a, a dynamic noise filter, yeah. which would sense uh, the signal, and when it wasn't there, it would cut and yeah. back off some of the um, Dugan, uh, Mike Dugan has, has a system that's in the Yamaha, actually, but, um, but you can get the plug-in for it that uh, does that when you have speaking heads. You got talking heads up there, and you yeah. got four or five people talking. It'll, it'll mute out, gate out the mics that aren't being used, okay. and then also uh, enhance the one that has, is being used. And it'll just set the DB level. Mm -hmm. Works really good. Yeah, I noticed our our podium mic has a little bit more background noise than all the other ones, but it is um, yeah, be a good place power. to do that. But yeah. you could also use a gate on that with a frequency uh, uh, frequency filter on it. Okay. And, and be able to gate some of that um, high, higher noise because that's what's going to come through. Yeah. So you could probably do that. Yeah. It's um, not that bad, but it, it is noticeable. Yeah. You can, yeah. It's reflecting off that back wall or something. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what I would recommend is the, the Midas or the Behringer. For my, for my money, I'd get the, go ahead and get the, the, uh, the Midas. It's solid, solid uh, stuff, and you can buy one. I think you can buy the R for about 2000 or less and okay. uh, used it's even cheaper. Mm -hmm. And used doesn't make, really mean that it's it's not any good, it yeah. just means that it's been used. Yeah. The box has been open and people have used it. Yeah, yeah, it depends on where, where had, you're buying it from. I've had mine since, uh, I've had mine for almost five years mm. and I've never had a problem with it. Mm. Okay. And I've put it through, through its paces. For about an hour's time. So uh, that's something that you could think about doing. Okay. Uh, well, sorry for my uh, grunts, man. I got I, I think what I I think I ripped a muscle or something. Mm. Lifting something. One of the things about this is it was picking up too much piano and drums. Yeah, well you open up the field and it will. Yeah. As soon as you start opening up the opening up the mic for me, it turns it up a lot. But that's what it's meant to do. Yeah, I mean, 
but we want to tuck those wires away somehow. And the you're going to do something actually to use them instead of being part of more uh, puddle of stiff wire, and so we can keep it in a spot. Mm -hmm. it's, not, so it's, not uh, it's not necessarily not too bad. We can just stay on the big set up on top. Yeah, it might be that we need to do the twisting that I just did up on top of there. No, if I remember correctly, this, this guy has this uh, wire top, and if you twist it in the wire, it will stay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you you're right. Yeah, that's a dry wire. Okay. Yeah, and maybe this one doesn't need, maybe this one could be more straight in, and that one slightly in there this way. Because yeah. the choir usually, just because the podium is here, they're usually up here, the guys, and then the ladies are kind of, so then we're kind of, our center of gravity is over to this side. Does uh, Bruce do really need reinforcement for the choir? Yeah, because they don't sit down. Oh, they're, not they're, they're, well, they're not loud enough. But I'm not going to play a play with you. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I, you know, we do a lot of pop and rock, and, and you know, it's just, and then if the drums are playing, it's just hard to, it's hard to, yeah. yeah, some, yeah. He's not yeah. always, not on all songs. I mean, we do something more classical Saturday, but it's not a bunch of songs. Uh, Carter, uh, Carter Morgan, yeah. He plays in a band around town called Los Nobles. And uh, it's kind of a bar band. Renee, Renee would be confused. Oh, Renee, yeah, he's got a really nice, well, no, no, Carter plays soft. He's really sensitive, but um, you know the, the the old folks that come and complain to me, um, you know, not on an every week basis, but on a regular basis, they sit way over on this side and it's still too loud for them. Yeah, so you know you can't make everybody happy. But what do you set up? Set up the choir. No, no, no. Oh, the no. right, the right the show. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could, you could uh, get a shield. Yeah, it's the piano. It's the piano too loud too. I mean, it's just, they're fussing. They're out the elderly folks. The young people, they don't care. It's just the elderly folks, and yeah, they, they're fine on the other side. Do you have what you want? Yeah, I, you yeah it's just a really wide room. 